Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and in this one I am playing with another of Natalie May Scrapbooking's collage papers. This one's called Tough Chicks. And I am just using one of the images from the set of four. So I've cut it down and um, I am just going to add some white acrylic paint onto my page. The reason for this is that um, I want to keep the very monochromatic theme going um, with this image and don't want the brown colour of the craft paper to interfere with how the image works on the page. So adding that white acrylic paint means that that, that will uh, help with that. So then uh, once that's dry, a quick layer of matte medium on my background and then just sticking the image in place. So if you brush the matte medium over the surface, of the image it will then seal it for you as well so this is another of natalie's products this is one of her stencils i think it's called script text or something like that um, and i am using um sterling paint from dina wakeley through the stencil overlapping onto the collage image um, and these are little tips and tricks for how to make collage papers feel like they belong on your page you need to bring the background from your page over the top onto your image and that way you can make them feel like they were there all along. So I'm also adding some stamping over the top of that as well. This is a text stamp also from Natalie May Scrapbooking and just using some black archival ink and then of course got to be done. I'm using my little dotty stamp and um, just adding some stamping on there too. So this is where I had a little bit of a play. So I was thinking that I wanted to add some feather shapes onto the page because there were some feathers on the image already. So first of all, I thought I would go in with some really bright ones using my Bright Botanicals collage paper. And I cut them out and I just felt like, nah, it wasn't quite working. And then I remembered that I had a stamp set with feathers on and this is one from Birgit Coopson. I've had it for quite a long time. Um, and so I stamped some feathers onto white card stock using black archival ink um, and then cut them out. And once I'd cut them out, I was immediately thinking, yeah, this kind of works a lot better. Um, it didn't interrupt the flow of the image like the bright coloured ones did they kind of felt a bit like they were a bit incongruous really with the rest of the page and um, so sticking with that monochromatic theme definitely worked much better so once I had um, fussy cut them out which uh, I don't like cutting out as you know I then used some archival ink on a blending tool and went round the edges just to give them a little bit more definition and help pop them off the page once they were stuck in place. Um, yeah, so here I go, just adding the outline. You can see immediately that creates that bit of definition around the edge of the image. Works really nicely. Uh, it's a little bit fiddly to do, but I think those of you, that, there are lots of you I know that use this technique a lot, but it can just make all the difference between something working and something being absolutely fantastic. Um, so it's worth just spending that little bit of extra time and you can see that the outlines with the black because you've got different tones of black as well it works really nicely with the rest of the page um, so then I am just sticking these on using my double-sided tape gun just because it's nice and easy and quick and in some places I'm using a little bit of glue as well I'm overlapping them onto the collage paper and you can see that now it's really quite difficult to see where the collage paper starts and the journal paper journal page ends or the other way around where one starts and another one finishes yeah I don't know anyway you know what I'm trying to say um and then I had this little tiny bit left over didn't want to leave it behind so just stuck it up in that top corner and that actually balances the page really nicely um so once that was dry, I then wanted to add a gentle touch of colour to her face and decided I would use these palette pastels from Jane Davenport. I love this set. It is brilliant for skin tones and just adding a gentle blush on the cheeks. And sometimes I use my finger for adding those on. This time I just felt I would use a little brush and just gently brush those colours in place. 
And then I also added in the white of the eye and decided I would go in with my Stubbolo All Pencil and just darken up some of the um, parts of the face like on, around the eye, the eyebrow, nose and mouth just to bring a little bit of sharpness back to those two. And you can see that really pops that image out from the background. Beautiful images to work with. So then I am using my dotty stamp with some white paint and I am just adding some dots around those feathers where they join uh, my page. So my journal was getting quite chunky at this point so it didn't really lie completely flat so I've got a few areas where it's gone a bit smooshy through the stamp, it didn't quite lay properly but it doesn't matter at all, it's all adding to the texture and the marks on the background. So now I'm just adding some little white highlights back in. And then I have uh, printed out a quote on a piece of um, ledger type paper. I think it's one that I got from somewhere and I just, you know, dropped it into um, pages on the Mac and then just typed up the uh, phrase that I wanted to use. So I'm going to be sticking that in place kind of after working out where I wanted it to go, where it was going to work right. And that was pretty much how this page came together. So really this one is just like a few little tips and tricks of how to make your collage paper really feel like it belongs. This is something, as you will know, that is a theme that appears in lots of my videos. This is something that I really like to do, is how to make it feel like it was there in the first place and um, that it works with the rest of the page that you've created. Uh, so tips like um, stenciling over the top and bringing other images over um, just all help make it, things feel like they are meant to be there. So I spent a little bit of time faffing about positioning those words in the right place where they felt uh, balanced and they they worked with the rest of the page as well. And then I'm just sticking those in place using some clear glue. So that is pretty much it for this page. Oh, I did add some little dots in a, col a colour that um, played with the cheeks and the lip colour as well. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching how I made the image belong on my journal page and I really hope to see you again soon.